Hi, today I wanted to talk about the latest news about the JinkPad A1 because it is, really seems to be an interesting device. But first of all, we should ask ourselves who is Jink anyway? So, their prime product right now is Jink OS, which I've reviewed as version 0.8. And it is an interesting product. It's not ready yet and they do seem to be over promising in the promo page but it is very interesting like in the early stages and I think it will develop very nicely. They already have a couple of apps that looks really good and as far as trackpad gestures they do have them. They're a bit laggy but still they do which is super interesting and uh, as far as Linux apps and Android apps go I didn't see much Linux apps, I think they'll come uh, in the future, there were only a few, whereas Android apps is just currently a promise for the ARM version, they currently do not run Android apps. And then there's these claims to be like an iPad sort of device so that you can be uh, productive even if you have sort of a, like a tablet, which is very interesting. And of course, we want to see the source code. They do have published uh, all of the source code. Albeit, they do seem to be pub publishing the source code only when they release new versions and uh, maybe not always, like they have done it for the version 0.8 one day after the announcement and for 0.81 I have not uh, seen it. But um, still, they are open source so that's uh, surely for good and then they are developing a tablet uh, the JinkPad A1 which should be uh, running Linux which is something that surely a, a good news for the Linux community I mean but of course the question is that whether they are able to uh, follow the promi promises and what's interesting is this post which is actually from four months ago showing off that they do have an early prototype of the device four months ago and I've contacted them and they say that the current version is so much better than the one in this picture and given that this version is already pretty good I think that they really might have a cool device for real not just PR stand. So I think that it's worth following uh, this news. They also have published a video which was criticized for being a bit sped up, but I think that it's still very cool as a concept of uh, JingOS running on um, a phone, a brandless phone, they say. But of course, what we are here for is the JingPad. So if we give a look to the specs, it should have like amazing screen, uh, you can see all the details uh, here and then, then they should also have 5G uh, support given their chip which is this one um, the Unisoc Tiger T7520 um, which I've checked and it does seem to have uh, 5G you can see all of the, these uh, specs here and then we have um, a 8000 mAh battery which is actually the same as the Samsung Tab S7 so that's really good and then the camera it seems like 16 megapixel maybe that's not too much pro but uh, that's not something i to nitpick and then we can actually see the keyboard and the stylus but of course you might ask this sounds cool but when are we actually going to get uh, reviews and st stuff like that? i've tuned in their channel and they have they have a list of milestones here. So the first one is the 31st of May. So this will be the first JinkPad A1 physical review. Then we'll have 11 days later reviews by uh, third party YouTubers in Chinese, English, probably mostly Chinese, uh, I've seen. And then in um, 15, it will start the crowdfunding campaign. And then on the 25th, they uh, will have trackbarred keyboard view, view, view videos by third-party YouTubers. Hopefully, I should also be able to get one. Then on the 15th of July, there will be the smoke test, and then it will start shipping f um, initially just 100, then 300, and then mass shipping uh, in September. So this sounds really cool. Again, I think they 
kind of show that they are able to pull this off on the hardware side. On the software side, the, um, their project is interesting. They still need a bit of time to finish it off and I will be for sure following their updates. And I'm really interested uh, to see what it's going to be in the month of June.